What's good, all ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. It's Thursday. Let's get right into the news. Welcome back. So, if you have the Broodfiend Talents from our June upgrade package, the positioning fix will roll this week. If you go into game, they're not fixed. And it's Thursday, so I I don't know what that means, but uh, maybe they forgot about it. So the positioning, they're supposed to be like rotated like 25, is that 25 degrees? Like, so that part is like kind of adjacent to your arm and the claws are facing downward, which would look a lot better on these. Uh, but they haven't fixed them yet. Uh, maybe they fixed them for the higher tier package, just the lower tier package that didn't get fixed for some reason. Maybe that's the case because I only have the lower tier package, but in my experience, they have not been fixed yet. Crew Long tweet out a bunch of really cool art. So we have like this water sort of elemental set, which could be for the Quibble Rare Shop that's coming out later this month. More on that later in the video. Uh, we have this really cool kind of cat themed set. We have like tiger helmets, kind of like a cat face mask. It has a mask, not paint, because you can see the strap right there. Uh, some like really cool like big hairstyles. I like that hairstyle right there. It looks really sick. Crew Long does really cool hairstyles. And some nice armors, along with the blades. Say the blades are also co pretty cool. This could be a pet. Uh, some would say it looks like the tiger from Kung Fu Panda, those movies. So I could see how one would see that. Uh, these are items that might not be in the game. Choose your warrior wisely from Kru Long again. This would be my favorite set of armor in the game, at least right now. If I could have Pepe with the meme, he's he's inhaling memes, and he's got. A, a Riparambe tattoo, a dank meme backpack, um, just just everything about this set right here. I would love to have in the game. I, there's probably some sort of copyright on Pepe that you couldn't put him into Adventure Quest Worlds, but that would be really cool if you could, but it probably won't happen. So don't expect to see this in game anytime soon, but I'd really like to have it still. Maybe we can find a copyright free version of Pepe. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. And then we have the uh, Dark Duckling. This could actually be a set in game because uh, no, no one has a copyright on a duck. So we could see the uh, the yellow and the uh, purplish Dark Duckling in the game. Uh, along with this meme dinosaur. From Exoros, we have a twig plus fire equals this. So it's a f tree on fire, basically. Uh, the green fire made the fire is color custom. Uh, what looks like, I don't know, at... I don't think that cape really fits in like I think it's a wizard sort of style it looks pretty cool but I don't really know what's going for it looks kind of like a bear paw right there a little bit maybe not maybe because you can't see the whole thing kind of looks kind of like a bear paw but it's probably supposed to be made out of wood so yeah a brand new armor set that you could see in game a very a very soon all right this weekend kill or cure this is the release I cover this every week I am not a big fan of the book of monsters so far my opinion on this could change in the future uh with future releases i feel like they had like one good release the whole out of the whole saga so far one or two good releases i'm not a big fan of most of them but uh this weekend we're having kill or cure as the friday event so that's not all that's happening this friday we're also getting the molten mayhelm limited time set so that could be the set I showed in last week's video. If you want to go watch that, I'm sure it'll be in the related videos to this one. So check that out. If you haven't seen last week's video, it could be that fiery uh, sort of steel and fire set from last week's uh, news video. Now, next week, we're getting events rares, summer shop and Father's Day shop. And the week after that, we're getting an elemental rare shop and quibble hunt through time, a quibble quest line. I'm really interested in what that's going to be like. Uh, Questline with Quibble. I don't know if we've had one of those, and if we have had one, it's been a long time since then. So it'd be cool to see a Quibble based Questline. And part one of three of the summer event, I'm really excited for the summer event. I think that's going to be really good with the Lost Princess. So that's the rest of the events for the month. That's all the news I could find for Adventure Quest Worlds this uh, it's this month. Sorry, the recording box was off because I have to make it bigger when I'm looking at tweets and stuff. Um. So that's all I can find on the news. If I missed any news, please leave that in the comments for the other people to see. Um, and last but not least, 
All right, so this is Fetch Quest 3D. Uh, recent releases in this game have been really good. Uh, if you haven't checked out AQ3D yet, it's free. You can get on Steam on your phone, iOS, or Android. It's mobile also. Uh, but you can go here to Gaz, and he has a brand new cape as of today. Uh, you preview it right here. It's Tutor Dragon Crystal, so if you want to get this cape in AQ3D, it just came out right before I start recording this video, so it's brand new. And it looks really nice. I'm actually going to be getting it. It's 200 Dragon Crystals. That's not too expensive. I think that's like, uh, if you want to buy Dragon Crystals, 200 is $2. That's a pretty fair price for a pretty good looking cape. Uh, so AQ3D is really good. Like the recent event added Reputation. And I'm going to make a separate video on it because I think it deserves one. The Reputation in AQ3D is, in my opinion, well, I'm not going to give my opinion on it. Uh, that'll be for the video. It's really good though. I think that they made huge advancements for AQ3D on the reputation system. And uh, yeah, there's going to be future quests in AQ3D. So if you haven't started playing it, check it out. Maybe level up a character from when those new events do come out. So that's that. Uh, check out the new cape in AQ3D. And that is all the news for adventure quests we have this week. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. I'll be streaming on Friday. And check out my Twitch down below where I stream games. Uh, I'll quite a bit on my Twitch actually. I've been streaming more and more there, so check that out. And uh, the Friday stream will be tomorrow, same time when the update comes out for Adventure Quest Worlds. I'll see you guys there. Have a good one. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. Peace.